happening there. So, so very interesting. I've got my seatbelt on. No, you do not. Yeah, I do. Oh, shoot. I don't have that. <laughs> yes. I have my seatbelt on. I'm very safe. I'm such a Filipino. I really rarely wear my seatbelt back in the Philippines. Is that cool? No. Okay. Sorry. UK, UK standards. British standards. What? Well, Filipino standards are lower. So. Yeah, because it's always traffic in the Philippines and you don't actually need to wear your seatbelts. You're not going at a fast speed enough to actually need it. Not the same weather as what we experienced yesterday. Check it out! Ah, it's raining! Oh, look at that! So the weather yesterday was amazing, but right behind me, this is nothing but like... They call it Dri, like in, in Scotland. Dri, like it's pretty drab and gloomy and like... Um, it's not the best... Ooh, oh, what happened? It's, it's not the best of weather, so... Here in the UK, it's really fast how the weather changes. It's really crazy how the weather changes here from it being super sunny. Now it's just a complete, well, it's still a beautiful day. It's just very, not the same one. There's, oh. So what we're gonna do now is we are heading off to St. Andrews. But we can, and Uncle Lee are very nice to let us their car. We're gonna drive there and get my favorite mince pie. Um, and then head over to the cheesemongers because I absolutely no, love their dessert uh, cheese. It's no, called Brulah no, Severon. And it's like 80% fat or something like that. Like 50% all fat and then the rest is like cheese. But it's amazing. And we're going to get our favorite blue cheese, Valdeon. Um, and then maybe some Parmigiana. So let's head over. You guys look so majestic there. What are you waiting for? Ayla. Ayla. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, and there's Panti. <laughs> I think one of the big difference between the UK and the Philippines is that when it rains here, uh, life goes on. I mean, we still walk outside, sometimes even wearing normal clothes without any waterproof. But in the Philippines, when it rains, with this kind of weather, everybody's... Not to generalize, but most people, like myself included, I don't want to leave the house or I want to stay somewhere dry. I remember growing up, my dad would even put his hand over my head like this to cover me from the rain. It's different here. We still continue on with our day and rain or shine, we still go about. What did you say? Very, very nice to be inside the car and not outside there. Oh. <sighs> it's cold. Where are we heading off to? Uh, where do you want to go? We are heading off to get my favorite minced pie in St. Andrews. And it so happens today there is like this golf tournament happening. Um, what do you call it? Beach again? But in, it's the golf course. The famous golf course in St. Andrews. Um, guess who's there? The celebrity. I do not know. There's a famous Hollywood celebrity that is playing golf. I don't know how he's able to play golf in this weather. Is it? Is it? Do you think it's been cancelled? Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, I can't imagine. So the famous actor that's there, famous Hollywood actor, is Bill Murray. Imagine that. And back in the day when Sean Connery was alive, he'd also play there. So, very interesting. I've got my seatbelt on. No, you do not. Oh, shoot. I don't have that. I have my seatbelt on. I'm very safe. I'm such a Filipino. I really rarely wear my seatbelt back in the Philippines. Is that cool? Okay. 
Sorry, UK, UK standards, British standards. <laughs> what? Filipino standards are lower. So. Yeah, because it's always traffic in the Philippines and you don't actually need to wear your seatbelts. You're not going at a fast speed enough to actually need it. Aquarium. What do you call the aquarium? The aquarium is 
St. Andrew's Aquarium. That's a nice place to check out. I know, I see all the golfers, but yeah, it's not the best of uh, golfing days. I am drenched, but whatever. Fisher, Fisher and Donaldson, that's the name of the place where I love their mince pie. And not to be biased or anything, which I kind of am, out of the entire, out of all the places I've tried minced pie in Scotland, and I haven't really tried that much, but for the majority, for me, this is my favorite. It's really juicy because of all the fat, I suppose. It's really tasty. It reminds me a lot about the Philippines. It's very savory and, oops, sorry about that. It's raining. It just hits the spot, so let's go there and collect a lot of minced pie. I'm getting at least five or six pieces of them. Okay, let us cross. Okay, here we go. Okay, Malco, we're gonna collect every single. Which one? I know, I, I noticed, yeah. Okay, we are gonna. I have a lot of I know. I <laughs> It's very cold and wet, but we're gonna enjoy this. This is the favorite, this is the ultimate best mince pie ever. <laughs> wow. We're so classy. Hmm. but this is the famous cheese shop that we always visit in St. Andrews. Let's go inside and I'm gonna show you all the cheeses that we're gonna get and those top three are my favorites. Do you remember? Baldeon? Yeah, you you were after the Harvard Jagger which I Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, please. Um, 100, you want 100 grams? Uh, 150. 150. Yes. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, I'm alright. I, I, I don't think I. No, if it wasn't my favorite. No. That's going to be good for salad. It's a gator style, but it's got parmesan for it. So it's sort of gator, but with sort of more crunchy. Yeah. 
Is that enough? Uh, yep. Can we get this oh, anyway? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm gonna get rid of these. Yeah, just... Oh. So far here we are getting the Brulat Savaran, this is our Gorgonzola and then before that we got the, um, what's the first cheese that we got? I'm forgetting. Okay, we got the blue cheese Valdeon which is absolutely our favorite. So right now the last dessert that we're gonna get is uh, Parmigiano Reggiano which is aged 30, 30 months. Um, a hundred. Just to do it on the, uh, to yeah. look at it and see if we need yeah. to yeah. Yeah. Uh, touch, touch left. Oh, no, that's fine. Left? Oh, uh, no. Um, no, I just want you to go on the first one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah perfect. Uh, absolutely gorgeous cheese as well. Yeah. The, the fat content is interesting. Yeah, but it's triple crazy. Is it, is it like 80, 80% or something? The fat content? Something crazy like that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it, it might be... No, it's only 72%. Only 72%. Only 72%. Only 72. Yeah. It's like clotting, clotting, Give it the enemies. Uh, it's also, as soon as it gets warm, friends? it's very squishy. Yeah. So we we should I pop it in the top, do you think? Uh, uh, no, we've got a thermal, a thermal yeah. bag. We're so this is well bed, love it. We're prepared. Yeah. <laughs> um, how much does that come out? Oh, 280. 80. <laughs> Over a minute, stick out. Taste of this going. Oh, okay. And the last cheese that we're getting is the mimolette. It's very orangey. Uh, one thing also when you visit this place, you can have free tasting. So if you're not sure which cheese to get, as you can see, there's a lot of options. You can ask to try and they'll give you a taste, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, we are done and let's head back. This weather's making me want some wine, cheese, and um, it's five maybe. If I get within 120 on ground, I'll just have some chance on that. You gave us too much. Wow, I had no idea that could be for hard cheeses. It's hard, yeah, it's pretty Whoa. hard. Sorry, it's just once you get it to the and dine, it's much easier. Wow. In Italy, they use like a big knife. <laughs> big job. <Yeah. laughs> That's amazing. What do you do? You need the strength. Oh, you need the strength for that. It's actually, it's just where it gets you in there, and it's just sort of sore a bit. So we're like, after this, wow. 158. So just That's fine. We have. That weather is definitely sweater weather, but we're done now packing our cheeses and then let's go home. Okay, so we come prepared. We bring our uh, thermal bag to make sure the cheeses don't melt and they stay nice and um, the temperature that it should be. Definitely sweater weather. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Are you looking forward to wine and cheese night? Yeah. We're gonna go to McDonald's because <laughs> Eddie, I know after after getting something so fancy, we're heading off to some fast food, right? Uh -huh. Eddie has these coupons and um, he gets a free burger. You get a free burger, right? Free burger and what else? Uh, a hot. Okay. Uh, some small fries. Yeah, so let's go to McDonald's from here. No joke, the weather is some kind of... <laughs> Look how drenched you are. 
<laughs> it's not very obvious because my clothes are dark, but that is some major blizzard outside. Um, from here, Eddie's gonna have to download the McDonald's app for us to get our free burger. Uh, I've never, believe it or not, of all the times I've visited Europe or the UK, I have never tried McDonald's. So this is gonna be something monumental. Not really something to be excited about, but it is our cheat day to battle out this weather. So I'm not recommending making these to anyone. It's not sponsored. It's just some cheap thrills that we're gonna have for today. Let loose! Oh wow, preparing itself. Sorry, I'm not sorry. We are in McLaurin right now, and this is so cool because we did everything via app. Can you see? So we did everything via app. It says we're number one, and if you look at the screen here, where did ours go? Oh, there we are. There's number one. Personally, I find it so high tech. We do everything via app, and then when you get to the store. It's all gonna be ready for you to pick up. So in the Philippines, we have to do everything like physically. Uh, there's always somebody assisting us. Whereas here, we do everything on the app. And then when you get to the actual McDonald's, it's gonna be there ready for you. This is so amazing. So two free burgers, I can't wait. Smarties, Maltesers, I got Oreo and Twix. Mars is unavailable. Wow, thank you. Whoa. Okay, so when do we get? When do we get? Okay, so this is um, our free burgers. Check it out. Oh, it's big. This is so different from what you'd find in the Philippines, not to compare. This is their vegetable deluxe, which means. I don't know. Is this actual. Everything is made from vegetables? Oh my god, let's have a look. Wow. Oh, no, they're like sticks. It wasn't recorded. Wasn't recording. Yeah. No, sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. There you go. Okay. It's recording now. I have to go buy it already. Anyway, it's bigger than my phone. This is a free burger. I'm not promoting my phone. Okay. Next up is the veggie burger. It's more like um like veggie nuggets because look, it's not it's not really burger shaped, but it's fine. It's free. It's really fine. <laughs> wow. Mm. Really soft inside. Juicy. Not bad for a free burger. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm gonna end the video here. Um, not very typical of me to end the video in McDonald's or to even eat in McDonald's. But um, again, it's cheap day today -day because look at that weather. And we're able to battle out that weather with, uh, <laughs> with definitely um, comfort food, which is like once in a blue moon. So, yeah. Babushki, bye. <laughs>